Till this day, I think that's why I wear nice clothes, right? That's why I'm such a country girl. If I could walk around in a t-shirt and shoot and with no shoes, some jeans, I'm good every day. But it's something about when I ran for office and I realized people judged you. Like I, I'd never really been under that type of scrutiny because I had went to college. I'd, you know, been I'm, I'm a survivor. Like most people were pretty nice to me. But in the doggy dog world of politics. They didn't care about none of that. They just went straight to the gut and they broke me down and it hurt. And I'm like, you know what? I know I shouldn't care, but this hurts. Like you're literally broadcasting my grades. My Like I always used to say I got a scholarship before I got a GED because my pastor owned a church called God's Academy. So when I told y'all my story earlier about getting saved, my pastor was like, look, if you write your story to every HBCU, as a historically black college university that they help people like yourself and there's funding for that. And, you know, you just got saved. Like you have a baby from it. You know, you're a good athlete. You're smart. I own a school. I can help you get your GED and walk across stage, but you got to do your part and share your story. 